You might have heard of the uh, butterfly effect theory. The theory is that a butterfly moves its wings, which moves some air, which then moves some more air, and that chain reaction eventually leads to a hurricane on the other side of the planet. And such is the way the universe works. Um, the idea is small initial differences lead to large unforeseen consequences over time. Today I'm going to talk to you about how I witnessed the butterfly effect transform the world and my world in more than one amazing ways. <clears throat> but before I do that, let me ask you a question. How many people does it take to install a rooftop solar system? Well, the answer is whatever you think, plus one electrician. In fact, if you have me on your team, you're probably going to need two extra people and an extra ladder, because the first time I was going on that roof, I not only fell off the ladder and broke the ladder, but I almost broke the backs of my two co-founders. And that's when they tell me, they tell me, Karen, we need you on the ground. We're definitely getting the electrician. See, this was back in 2009 when we were installing our first uh, inst solar system on the roof of my co-founder's home. And this is when we were learning about the various components of the solar system. We were all internet entrepreneurs prior to this. None of us were electrical en engineers. But we were figuring it out. Solar panels, the mounting racks, the inverter, how they all connect to each other and so forth. But you know, the most complicated part was getting the direct, direct current electricity that comes from the solar system and connecting it to the alternating current electricity that runs on the grid. So we enrolled the help of an electrician friend, but even with him helping us, we still had many questions that were not answered. We didn't know if panel A worked with inverter brand B, how to connect it to each, to each other, how many of each to buy, and we were calling a lot of the existing solar equipment distributors at the time. This is in California back in 2009. And we were not getting the kind of customer service that we expected. It was taking us days to get our phone calls returned. It was taking us weeks to get the product delivered. And even when they delivered it, there was no tracking information and they delivered the wrong amounts. Back then, the existing solar uh, distributors worked with what I call a 20th century business model. Essentially stocked a bunch of product in a big warehouse and maybe had a sales office upstairs or next door. And if you were lucky, you got a hold of the sales people whose understanding of customer service weren't that much better than these two characters, if you're f familiar with the comedy TV show, The Office. <coughs> and that is when we started our butterfly effect with As Civic Solar. But before I talk to you about that, I want to talk to you about another butterfly effect that I think many of you in this room can relate to. Most of you are old enough to remember the uh, mid-2000s when the earliest social networks were coming into the mainstream. I remember the time well because I started one of them, Yonja.com, which, which was a leading social network with some six million, users in short, uh, six million Turkish users in short time. And, uh, at the time, what amazed me about social networks were, was the simplicity of their technology. In fact, they were as simple as a basic online dating site, which was a simple database with a bunch of profiles in it and a search function. Yet, social networks introduced one subtle new element, which was the graphical representation of relationships between each profile. And this subtle, powerful difference transformed the internet as we know it, gave birth to all kinds of amazing services from Facebook to, internet, to Twitter to LinkedIn to Instagram to Snapchat to many others, changed the way we as billions of people on this world communicate with each other and connect with each other. One little difference. Well, jumping back to 2009 to the world of solar, 
having just gone through our frustrating experience of trying to order solar equipment, we were forming our own thesis about the solar market. And at the time, we knew solar was growing like weeds around the world, and that America needed more than you know, a substantial portion of its 200,000 plus contractors, most of whom are electricians, to get going in solar. And so our vision was to essentially bring our butterfly effect touch, which was to make it easy to order product. And we did that by simply marrying e-commerce to the business of B2B solar equipment distribution. We talked to a number of key players in the market, these custom designed a website targeted to solar installers. And with our just-in-time distribution model, we cut costs across warehousing and financing. With our web platform, we cut costs through sales, service, and marketing. And we made it more efficient for solar installers and electricians to get product and product-related information. What we did was not rocket science. It was not the most innovative thing in the realm of solar or renewable energy, nor was it technologically the most impressive solution. But it was a simple, smart change that brought efficiency to the solar market. I can't say we created a hurricane, but we made a, ma we made a wave. Um, with essentially zero venture capital money, we organically and profitably grew from zero to $65 million in revenues in six years. And the company has attracted dozens of passionate solar advocates to work for us and continues to add many dozens each year. We uh, this year have been acknowledged for the third year in a row as one of the fastest growing private companies in the US. And along the way, we have uh, gained 4,000 or so solar installers and contractors and developers as customers from all 50 states of the United States. And today I can say we are the uh, leading and the fastest growing solar equipment distributors serving the long tail of solar installers in the market. See, I think butterfly effects are happening around us all the time. If you really listen to your gut and follow your intuition, you'll see them. And many times there will be data trends backing this up. Back in 2009, when I first saw this chart, and read that installed solar capacity was growing at the rate of doubling every two years and had been doing so for the past 25 years, I knew solar would be as big as social networking one day. And especially when I saw the fact that the cost of solar panels had gone down 100x, and since then has gone down another 50%, essentially 200, 200 times in the last 30 years. There was no question in my mind that solar is the source of energy for the future. And this was also backed by the fact that we essentially have 10,000 times more energy hitting the surface of the Earth every second than we're using. Solar's potential was unquestioned. And if you just did some back of the math envelope, you could see that a 90 mile by 90 mile area of solar panels was enough to power the entire US or the whole continent of Europe. And something slightly bigger was enough for the whole world. Yet, we were still consuming more than three quarters of our energy from fossil fuels, suffocating ourselves with CO2. This couldn't last, and didn't. So now it's been about six, seven years since we started Civic Solar cost of panels and other equipment have continued to come down at the rate of about 
10 to 15 percent per year, about 60 percent over that time period for panels. And installed capacity has quintupled in the last six years. And today, solar has made it in the mainstream in the U.S. Now we have more than 1 percent or 1 million households in the U.S. that have, that have solar on their roof. Yet, more than a third of the electricity consumed in the U.S. could be consumed more economically had they gone solar today. And we're only at 1% penetration, so we have a ways to go. Which brings me um, to the last frontier in renewable energy, in my opinion, which is storage and battery. Costs of batteries are also coming down at the rate of 15% per year. And when you take that compounding effect, another five, 10 years, when the cost of batteries are a quarter of what they are today, or imagine a hundredth of what they are today, then we will all be generating our own energy, not only generating our own er energy, but also storing our own energy. And that will be the hurricane in energy that will create some waves for the early movers to ride. Thank you.